everyone. So today we're going to do an amazing, amazing, wonderful, super delicious dish. And it's something I invented, uh, my own special version of Greek pizza. And it's, pr I promise you, going to be amazing. So I'm going to go over the ingredients as I usually do. I have some black olives that I have pitted. I have some red peppers. I have some diced onions and I have some mushrooms. I also have some crumbled feta cheese. And I am going to start by making the chicken that will be topping this pizza as well. But before I do that, I wanted to show you, I got a four uh, cheese plain pizza. So it's just a four cheese plain pizza with some tomato sauce on it. And I'm going to be using that as the base for this dish. So there you go. And this is, this is my chicken breast that I've cut into bite-sized pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chicken, dip it into some tzatziki. You could also use Greek yogurt. And what I'm doing here, these are not breadcrumbs. The, this is actually parmesan cheese so i'm going to be coating it somewhat lightly in parmesan cheese and then i am going to be pan frying the chicken and once the chicken is cooked i'm going to be coming back returning and topping off this delicious greek pizza i cannot wait stay tuned okay so we have our cheese pizza here and as you can see there's some tomato sauce on it already but i'm still going to add just a bit more because the pizza we're making is quite rich very rich in cheese and the acidity of the tomato sauce will help to cut that a bit so i just added a little bit more now what i'm going to do is show you the beautiful chicken and i think it looks very very nice i don't I didn't want to overcook it and I made some that are cooked more and I want to show you that this is something you you would like you might want to have you know just as a snack or something but it's not what you want to put on your Greek pizza on your Greek pizza you want it cooked but soft not overly crusty with the cheese you want the cheese to just give you a bit of a flavor so now what I'm gonna do is Top this beautiful pizza with the mushrooms. The roasted peppers or the peppers. I didn't roast them, but you could. Some diced onions. And some pitted Greek olives. So these are the black Greek olives and they're very, very delicious. And so what I want to do right now is I want to put the chicken. Does that not look yummy? Oh my God. And the smell in this kitchen. And I was quite generous with the pieces of chicken. So this is going to be quite decadent. Wow. The smell in this kitchen is amazing. And now I'm going to be putting some crumpled feta. And then I have my rubbed oregano and I'm going to be putting some, sprinkling some on top of this Oh, there's a little bit too much there on top of this delicious pizza. I'm not going to be adding any more herbs. Oregano gives a beautiful uh, smell. I'm just going to be sort of shifting that oregano around because it's a little top heavy here. And there you go. I'm going to be putting this into the oven and uh, I will be back. I cannot wait. This is going to be absolutely amazing. So here is the beautiful Greek pizza out of the oven and it looks absolutely amazing you can see the cheese has melted and this is uh, part this is some of the chicken this is more of the chicken melted cheese mushrooms onions 
more chicken, mushrooms, peppers, and onions. And I'm going to have a taste test and I can't wait. So I have Scooby and uh, Roly Poly looking at me very, very excitedly, but unfortunately this is not for them. I'm just going to taste a little piece of it. Piece of the chicken. Mm. This is absolutely one of the most delicious things I've ever made. It is so yummy, so good. I hope you give this a try. You are going to be so happy. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Stay well. Stay, stay tuned and stay blessed. And more exciting and delicious episodes to come. Thank you for watching.